Hello everybody, today I will show you how to build a speaker support very cheap way without buying expensive stands and let's go ahead and do it now I'm using a half by one board for the main stands for speaker and we're gonna go ahead and smooth, smooth it out with a mouse grinder and go ahead and paint it as well with a black lacquer paint it's a whole also high high glossy and smooth finish so let's go ahead and do that Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and cut uh, bottom support boards 11 by 12. That's the size I pick for my size of speakers. I need to go ahead and smooth all these boards with a mouse grinder also side of the boards as well I will try to make them smooth as well let's go ahead and do it So I just smooth uh, the board that goes on the bottom, also I did back. As well as you can see I also grind the uh, corners nicely, this and underneath as well. Now that's not supposed to be perfect because after uh, painting uh, you still want to have mm, kind of a wood uh, texture you're looking you know for wood texture just like your just like my speakers they have a little wood texture so I'm trying to bring this look as well now you can grind it off and make it look like a plastic if you want but I would like to go and stick with this now let's go and uh, continue building now as you see uh, this is how our bottom will look like but we're gonna go ahead and cut this piece in half and after that we're gonna go ahead and grind this piece as well and connect our main stud. Now when I have two pieces now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grind them and smooth them out. After you grind your brick and make it smooth, you can go ahead and install on your bottom board the way how I do um, the balance is supposed to be not in the middle because your um, 
heavy speaker actually will fall off uh, so pretty much you have to back up just a little bit around here now it also depends how heavy your um, speaker is and uh, how deep it is as well now mine is not so big so I'm just gonna move slightly here I already drilled the holes as you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and screw that board uh, to brick now as you can see I already installed board screw it down now my wood is not that great but it's not big deal I'll be painting over anyway all these holes and cracks uh, and over here as well I will cover it nicely with um, with regular white caulking um, it's also it's paintable that's what you need to look when you're buying caulking in the start I already drilled three holes I'm gonna go ahead and attach that as well now we need to find out if it's straight or not I'm using this tool go ahead and see I already put uh, one screw in there so it'll be easier for me to keep it there while I'm uh, adjusting or Well, this looks straight to me. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the two screws here. Now I already go ahead and fill all cracks. I'm gonna do a last uh, grinding to smooth the surface out. That's how pretty much it looks like. One more thing left just to paint Now after our stand is fully dry, we're gonna go ahead and install our speaker. Now as you can see you will have a crack on this side that specifically will be uh, used for a wiring and to hide the wire is going to be in the back of the frame and we're pretty much going to go ahead and drill the hole through so our wire will go. Just uh, measure it uh, around this area where your connectors are. This is how your wire coming out. We're gonna go ahead and connect speaker.
That's how it's supposed to look like on the side. You barely can notice this wire. Now, if your speaker have a pocket in it like mine, make sure you get some extra wire and kind of push it in just for removement because otherwise you would not be able to pull the speaker due to the fact you will glue or staple it down speaker wire. guys if you have any questions just put in the comment section I'll be glad to answer and always thank you for watching